I'm going to tell you about them. I'm going to give my opinion. Be sure to check out the other video right after this one. And uh, I'll have uh, information and stuff, what I can put in there. And other than that, uh, don't go nowhere. Just, it should pop up. Hopefully it does. If not, just look for the, you know, next one. So, look, this is going to be part two. I'll try to get it to where it's suggested. Yeah, before you buy a gift play board, try. Okay? You know, if, if, the, if, the, if a lot of people look at it and they say, wow, that's really expensive, but uh, think of the quality. If you're sitting there having to use 10% uh, of other stuff and you come in and you get the same thing and it's better tasting and everything and flavor it and you use half a percent or one at max, do that math. They're 15 mil bottles. 15 milliliters. Yeah. Not 10, but 15. That's where some people get kind of confused on it. They're just like, oh, well, yeah. So you're getting 15 mils, which, like I said, it depends on the percentage. So you could have something that turns out that you can use in equal four, five, 600 milliliters or more. I, it's, it's just, it all depends. Taste is subjective, and it is different to each and every one of us. So that brings us to that one right there, which is going to be the peach. And I, I, I love this. This is a good one. I, I do like that. Um, I'll tell you what's going to be good with it. White peach, flavor art. You're going to have to, uh, I, I threw uh, Juicy Peach in with it at T on TFA. And I'll tell you that it goes well with, um, oh, tongue-tied, man, that's not cool. But when uh, when I think of it, I'll put it in the description down low or something. But uh, in a where is Peach, bingo, that's what it was. Uh, you know, and, and just doing different tests that way. Just, you know, flavor it, just a little percent, and then each one differently and seeing how it works. Had one recipe that I think I released and uh, it was creamy peach delight or something. Um, it's got it's got all those in there and one version has uh, Capella's peaches and cream and the other does not and I'm gonna wait till it steeps out to kind of make my decision but peach if you're a peach lover check it out. Which brings us to the cantaloupe a uh, little bit of testing I, I, that authentic to me it is really really authentic I mean absolutely uh, you know I, if you're like I said if you're not sure about stuff go check these people out go check go check the pros out you know go go listen to Jennifer Jarvis uh, you know I mean you got Shindo you got Concrete River there is so many people out there that have just a vast amount of knowledge so before you buy, don't just do it blindly. Go listen to what they have to say. See how they use it. See how they work with it and it works with them and get their opinions. Uh, Ren uh, Vapes does it almost every week, I think, uh, if not every other Sundays, I believe. And, uh, you know, Daytime Frank and, and his whole crew. I mean, everybody. There's, there's so many people that have so much knowledge. It, it's, it's, you know, it's just too easy to find out. And, and all you have to do is just a little bit of asking. Don't be afraid to ask people, you know? All right, here we go. Now this one, um, I'm not sure yet as far as the testing uh, goes. It, uh, you know, the, the banana has, uh, well, if it's going to focus, I don't think it did, but let me try it again. So, this banana, um, it's kind of tricky. I mean, you know, at first, it, it's kind of like that little bit of the runty, uh, kind of maybe like Loran's or something like that, but I think it's got a little bit more depth to it. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to be completely candied. Uh, you know, just maybe a little help from something, and I can't say because I've not had extensive use with it, so go ask somebody else. Now, this one right here, was uh, a decision made, I think, uh, I'm not sure if this one has been Fresh 03 verified or anything yet. I know his uh, his favorite was uh, the Black Current by Flavor Art, if I'm not mistaken. And that was absolutely, you know, hands down his one of his favorite. Uh, 
Yeah, this this right here. All right, now this one right quick. All right, I just got a couple more. I know, I know. And uh, this is uh, it, it, it seems to be really good. Uh, you know, not a whole lot of uh, work with it and stuff because I, I've got a few more tropicals to to that I that I need to kind of get before I can go down that avenue. But uh, I'm definitely going to uh, going to do that. Now these next three, I have had a little bit with them uh, this one right here this is gonna be the pink fruit now I've, I've seen different uh, you know values and percentages and stuff like that with it some people kind of like it some people don't um, they you know said this and that I do know that you see this one you seem to have to kind of push it pretty far as far as you know the flavor standard goes keep it low that one um, you know it, it's just a little bit different but I think that it may have something like dragon fruit and something else mixture. I kind of that puts me kind of in the mind of like something that's going to be like an emulsifier, if you would. I think that would be good. You get that. I think they got smoothie base and that. Throw in what you want. I, I, I'd say you're good. I you know a little bit of cream maybe and and I you know it's your choice. Everybody's different. Do you? Don't worry about everybody else. Now. Last but not least, this is, no, not last, but this is the limon, and uh, the lemon is, I, I, I don't know enough as far as the depth on it, but what I do is this is one of the components that's in that bar, the granola bar e-liquid by that company. Uh, I don't know why I'm being like, you know, all uh, reclusive and stuff about it. I mean, shoot, it's it's the Yogi, you know, come on. I mean, it's Yogi, the granola bar. Uh, they got the granola bar with the lemon. They got a uh, blueberry. They've got the Java. They've got all that. As for myself, personally, that granola from Playboy is in there. That graham cracker is in there. Their lemon is in there. And uh, that's what I'm almost... 100% certain on, but I'm not going to say. Still in the steep, and uh, it'll be a couple weeks, and we'll see. So now, the last, but the best, as far as the category it's in, is that right there. And uh, this one was definitely recommended from uh, Fresh O3 himself, and I greatly appreciate all the advice and, and, and info uh that that has been given you know this 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 chocolate Dutch or Dutch Dutch however it it's it's going to pair well with a lot of stuff uh, it just depends on what you want to do with it I wouldn't say go crazy on it I would, I would kind of keep it kind of low but and then more you know about it then you can kind of you know twiddle around figure figure out what you want tweak this do that but as far as chocolates, uh, since there is no more uh, Innaware milk chocolate, I, I'd say that right there is your best bet. Um, I, I just, that's my opinion. Do with it what you will. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, definitely to, to, you know, Bryson, and I am grateful for everything that uh, everybody does, and that's why I love this community. You know, I know a lot of people just try to get what they want or whatever. But there are genuine people that are out there, and they, uh, you know, they're, they're just, that's that. You know, you're going to find your uh, individuals that's probably, you know, selfish, I'll say that, and that's all they really think about. But that's the world, you know. But as far as this community goes, that's why I love it. And like I said, before you buy, give Playboy a try. Well, I think you'll be happy with that. And like I said, ask around. Um, it's just, it's, it's too easy not to do that. You know, and it's your money. So, it's your money. Remember that. It is your money, and you are going to be the consumer. So, you've got to think about that part you have to be selfish in. You have to say, yeah, I, I think I will. So, you know what time it is. So, let's grab it. Let's have it. And let's have a, you guessed it, let's have a toot and scoot. Once again, I thank each and every one of you and I appreciate everything 
and all the information and input that went into this decisions that I've made and for the generosity and kindness from Flavora. I, I can't say enough. So on that note, let's let's do it.